Hello YouTubers, it's Dansky and in this tutorial we're going to learn how to export assets from Adobe XD. Now this is the preview version, currently there is no way to export as a PSD format for example, but I'm going to show you how you can export your app or site designs in various formats that developers will be able to use. So we've got here, we've got a design for an app screen. It's very basic, it's not going to win any awards, but that's fine. What we're going to do is look at how to export this. So if I want to export this whole app screen as a single visual, so it's sized for the iPhone 6 at the moment, I can go up to File with nothing selected, mind. So if you just click on anywhere around the background, so anywhere out here in the gray, just to make sure that you have nothing selected and then go to file down to export and you can select whether you are exporting for a website an iOS app or an Android app so let's select iOS you can select whether you want the format to be PNG or SVG depending on what your developer or client would prefer you to supply the files in and if I designed my app at 1x, 2x or 3x. So these are the different sizes that will correspond to the different devices. So let's say I designed at 1x or 1 times size. When I click export all artboards it will create three versions. So we've got the 1x size there, we've got the 2x size and the 3x size. Now in this video I'm not going to go into too much detail about the difference between these different sizes but this is how it will export them. It will export your whole composition as a single flat image. But what if you want to export all the individual assets? So if a developer wanted to take all the bits and pieces rather than just have a flat design, how would you do that? Well what you would do is you could individually select one element and go to File export and it would export only that one element or you can just drag over all the elements that you want to select so it could be this whole artboard you could have 10 artboards where you could zoom out and just drag over all of them as long as you drag over everything and make sure that it is selected go up to file down to export again choose whichever options you like and click export what it will do is export every single asset within your composition as a separate file. So we have the background here. It's given that a great file name of group 19. I'm not entirely sure why, but there we go. So we've got that at times one size or one X size. We've then got the two X version here and the three X version. So it exports every single asset, every button, every, there's the three dots, You've got the main messaging here, the hello world. You've got that at the 1x, 2x and 3x sizes. So you can see here the 1x one's a bit smaller, 2x a bit bigger, 3x is considerably bigger. You've got the button exported as its own asset. So 1x, we've got 2x and then 3x. So even if your app design is incredibly complex, it will take every individual asset and export it. Now the way this works is it will take things that are grouped so I imagine why it's given us this file name of group 3 is because hello world are two separate pieces of text so if I ungroup everything here so hello and world are two separate text items and then the box is also a separate item so now I've ungrouped all three of these. So let's try that again and I'm just going to hold shift and select the box hello and world. With those three items selected if I go to export now, same settings as before, you'll see that now these items are not grouped and it will just export each word, each element rather, so each word the box, everything individually at 1x, 2x and 3x sizes. So if you want it to export as one item make sure that you group your objects together before exporting. 
And there we go. That's how you export assets and objects from Adobe XD currently. This may change as Adobe develop the product. But please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.